Hello everyone, I am Chaitanya, Technical Account Manager here at AWS. Today we are going to look at the new central configuration capabilities for AWS Security Hub. With the release of the new central configuration capabilities in Security Hub, you are now able to use your delegated administrator account to centrally manage Security Hub controls and standards and to view your Security Hub configuration throughout your organization from a single place. Benefits of central configuration include simplifying configuration of the Security Hub service and capabilities, configure Security Hub across different accounts and regions, accommodate different configurations for different accounts and organization units, and finally, the central configuration will also aid in preventing configuration drift. The central configuration feature is most beneficial for AWS environments that include multiple Security Hub accounts and can also be used to customize parameters for certain controls. I will now do a quick demo on how to enable central configuration in Security Hub. Before we get started, we do have some prerequisites. The prerequisites are enable AWS config, turn on Security Hub in your AWS organization's management account, use your organization's management account to delegate an administrator account for your Security Hub. Navigate to your AWS console and navigate to Security Hub. I am in the designated uh, security administrator account uh, in my organization. So once you're there, now get to Security Hub, as I mentioned before. On the left-hand side, under Settings, go to the Configuration section. Now you'll be able to see a box here that says Central Configuration is now available. Click on Start Central Configuration. That will present you with a screen that shows different options for you. In the Region section, you select, you select the home region where you're going to aggregate all your results. You can link all the available regions or you can uncheck the box and select the regions that are appropriate for you. In this case, I'm just going to select link all available regions. You also have the option of linking future regions as AWS releases them. If you do not want to include future regions, you can uncheck the box or I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is and click on confirm and continue. This is gonna take a second, depending on the number of organizations you have and the number of regions that you have selected. Now the central configuration has been initiated successfully. Now you can see under the configuration type, we are using the recommended security hub configuration across our entire organization, which is the central configuration. For this, we have to enable AWS config. To make sure you are enable AWS config, you can go to AWS config. And you can use the one click setup. AWS config is now enabled, which is one of the prerequisites to set up the central configuration for the security hub. Now that the AWS config is enabled for your organization, let's go ahead and click next. So as you can see, your delegated administrator account, the regions that you selected, and the policy by default, which is the AWS foundational security best practices is also enabled. You can click on create policy and apply for the policy to be applied across all the organizations in your organization. As you can see now, uh, policy 01, which is the default AWS foundational security best practices version 1.1, version 1.0 has been enabled across all the organizations. If you go to the organizations tab, you'd be able to see your organization structure where you have the root and all the other accounts. Another great feature of the uh, central configuration is that whenever you want to create a new policy and apply it to all the organizations, all you can do is come here, create a new policy. You can select which policies that you want to enable. In this case, I'm gonna select PCI DSS version 321. 
and deselect the AWS Foundational Security Best Practices since it's already enabled. I can either enable it across all the accounts or I can specify different controls. In the same way, I can enable the same policy across all the accounts or specifically this account or you can even specify the organizations that you want to apply it to. In this example, I'm just going to apply it to all the organizations and click next. I'm going to enter a policy name. Create, click on create policy and apply. Once the central configuration is enabled in the security hub, it might take multiple hours for it to be fully run across all the organizations and across all the AWS accounts. To be able to show you how it looks like in your production account, I switched on the accounts to be able to show you how it looks. So in this case, you're able to see the different accounts and different organization units and what the policy status is across all these accounts. Just in case, for example, if you'd like to reapply or rerun the policies on this specific account, all you have to do is select the account and click on reapply policy. Today, we have seen the new central configuration feature of Security Hub and how the setup and management of control and policy configurations is simplified and centralized in a single pane of glass. To learn more about Security Hub and try Security Hub for 30 days at no cost, please scan the QR codes. Thank you.